Greetings friends, my name is Evanam Vasquez. In this video, I'm going to show you the process of how to make this gypsum board ceiling design. We simply start by making the metal structure for what we will use, track and stud, which are the profiles for the gypsum board. What you're looking at right now are the supports that I usually make in an L shape so that the structure is suspended from the ceiling by about one inch. For this job, I made eight supports in this way. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button so you can know which videos you like and we can send more videos. As you can see, I proceeded to cut the tracks and the stud to the measurements required by the design. If you need any tutorial of any design or any videos in specific, let us know and we'll make sure that you get it. That way you can keep up to date with all the new projects that are being built. I started to make the process of assembling the metal frame to make sure the corners are 98 degrees. Make sure to use a six inch gauge for the reference. At each corner of the frame, I make sure to check that each corner is at exactly 90 degrees and put the screw on. Then flip the frame and screw all the corners on the other side. Now along the structure, I'm going to place the studs to give it strength and make sure that it doesn't move because it's very important that it makes it stay solid. Then I place the 12 inches away from the edge so that it is on the same on the, every side. And I proceed to screw both sides of the stud. If you look at the ones that I'm going to stall on the other side, you will see that I used the track, but I made some cuts so they are fixed with the studs. Then I screw them in too. At this stage, the only thing missing is to install the small supports that you saw when I made at the beginning. But first, we must cut some small 11 and a half inch studs to reinforce from time to time and using the screw the supports. Now you're looking at the L-shaped brackets that I mentioned earlier. To this, we must calculate the measurements of the center of the roof which is going to be installed and make sure the centralization marks for which we install the structure so well is well centered. So make sure when you're up to this process, you have somebody there to help you so that the frame doesn't fall on you. Make sure, always practice safety. Safety first. With an assistant, we have to centralize it and screw it to the ceiling with Tavcom screws or nails if you have the Ramset powder gun. It's up to you to decide which alternative you would like to use. In my case, the ceiling is made of concrete and both alternatives works well for me. Now, we proceed to cut the gypsum board panel to the width of the structure. Then we fix it with the gypsum board screws as you can see on the screen. But before installing the panels, just make sure to do the electrical installation for the lights. For this, you can always have and ask help from a professional. The tool that facilitates us the most when installing the panels is the drywall screw gun. If you have it with the magazine attachment, it will be much easier because you don't have to put them one by one. Then we install the sides in the same way with screws and we take the measurements to cut the corner pieces and install them with the stapler and half inch staples as you can see on the screen. And now we're ready for the caulking process. First, we put the joint tape to avoid cracks in the future. Then we proceed to apply the layers of putty on the entire surface. The first coat of putty will take an average of 24 hours to dry, and then it will be ready for a second coat for the process is repeated until a third coat for a better finish. Make sure you give it time to dry. That way, the process will be much easier. In the sanding process, use an orbital sander with a vacuum cleaner to avoid so much dust in the work area. That way you can always work simply and much more cleaner. And we take the measurements to which the spotlights will be distributed and we make the holes with a hole saw. 
Then we paint the desired color. You can uh, buy a primer or you can buy the paint. It will be already included inside and thus avoid painting twice. And practically what's missing would be the connection of the lights and the LED strips and the work is finished. See you next time.